Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can upgrade from Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 8.1 to Windows 10 entirely for free. It's not gonna cost you anything and it uses the official channels. We're gonna update and upgrade your OS through the Microsoft official website. Now, first off, why should you upgrade your operating system? You've had your computer running for a while. Is there really a reason to upgrade? Well, with Windows 7, it's a pretty old operating system. It's been around since 2009, so 11 years now. And just now in January 2020, Microsoft announced end of life for Windows 7. What that means is that Microsoft is no longer releasing any security updates or patches for Windows 7. That means if you're still running it, you're vulnerable to attacks, to viruses, and you probably don't wanna deal with that. And hey, since you could upgrade for free, you might as well take advantage of that. With Windows 8 and 8.1, well, that's still officially supported. However, that too is also an old operating system. That's been out since 2012, and a lot has changed and improved since then. So even with Windows 8, you might as well uh, upgrade to Windows 10 and really get ahead of the curve here. Now, there are a few different ways you could go about getting Windows 10. You could either go to the store, microsoftstore.com, and you could buy Windows 10, but it's gonna run you about $139. If you'd rather save that money, well, you could get it for free online. And so enough talk, why don't we go ahead and I'll show you exactly how you can get Windows 10 for free. Let's jump on the PC. Okay, well here I am on my PC, and there's a website called Download Windows 10. I have the URL up here in the browser. You don't have to type it in. Instead, what you could do is simply go into the description of this video, and I have a link to this website there. You could click on that, and that'll take you right here. Once you get to this page, you have a few different options on here. There's lots of text on here, but what we're interested in doing is we wanna get Windows 10 and we wanna to upgrade to it. And the way to do that is we wanna create a Windows 10 installation media. Basically what that means is we wanna download Windows 10 and we wanna to upgrade to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this download tool now. Once I click on that, you'll notice that this uh, EXE downloads onto your machine called mediacreationtool.exe. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click on that. And now it's gonna ask you if you wanna allow this app to make changes to your device and it's signed by Microsoft. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, and now what this is gonna do, this is gonna kick off the upgrade process to Windows 10 and it's gonna take a little bit of time to get this set up. It's gonna download additional files as part of this. So that initial EXE we downloaded just has the setup, uh, but then as you kind of go throughout the upgrade, it's gonna download more files. The first screen that's gonna pop up that's gonna ask you to do something is you'll see the license terms. And you can take a quick breeze through that and then click on accept. I don't know what I'm signing away there. There was a lot of text there, but seems reasonable enough. If I was running Windows 7, Windows 8, I already accepted something like that before. All right, on the next screen, what it's gonna ask us is what do you want to do? You have two options. One of them is upgrade this PC now, or you could create installation media for another PC. Well, we wanna upgrade this PC, so let's make sure that we click on this upgrade this PC now, and then you're gonna click on next. Now, I already have Windows 10, so I'm not gonna go through any more of this process here, but there's gonna be one more prompt that appears that says, do you wanna keep your personal files and apps? If you wanna keep all your personal files and apps and you don't wanna to have to reinstall apps or uh, you know recreate files simply check that box and then continue through and that'll guide you through the rest of the install process now once you go ahead and you've installed Windows 10 what you can do is you can verify that your Windows 10 version is activated and the way to do that is once you're on Windows 10 you'll have this search box in the bottom left hand corner and what we're gonna do there is we're gonna simply type in settings you're gonna see the best match that appears is for the settings app we're gonna go ahead and click on that you're gonna see all your Windows settings here. The one we're interested in though is this one called Update and Security. We're gonna go ahead and click on that. And then once we're within this view, on the left-hand side, you'll see an option that says Activation. If we click on Activation, what you should see then is it'll say Windows is activated with a digital license linked to your Microsoft account. And if you were coming from Windows 7 Home, it'll upgrade you to Windows 10 Home. If you were coming from say Windows 7 Professional, it'll upgrade you to Windows 10 Professional. And really that's how easy it is to upgrade and then make sure your version of Windows is activated. 
All right, everyone. Well, that's how easy it is to upgrade to Windows 10 from either Windows 7 or Windows 8 or 8.1. If you found this video helpful and you were able to upgrade without any issues, please give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. If there are any other video topics that you want to see in the future, leave a comment down below. I read them all and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye.